Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Beekeeping. So today we're going to turn a simple Langstroth beehive into a top bar beehive. Let's get into it. So four weeks ago when I came down here, I put some top bars into this hive. Not an enormous amount of room in this hive. So I might take this bar out, and I don't think this one's actually filled out yet. Oh yeah, look at that. So they've started to build that. Just got to support that comb until it gets hard. Actually do, I think the easiest way to do this would be to take the box over, wouldn't it? Oh, there's three frames. Okay, cool. That's really cool. So we've got another frame over here. Very cool. Oh, that feels like a good frame. Look at that. And it's the same on the other side. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to plonk that other frame back in. We've got four frames, that's well and truly enough. All right guys, so here we are at the top bar hive. So we need to block up this entrance so that the bees don't return. And I would normally poke something in here but I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm just going to cover it. That way, if they do want to push out, they'll probably find their way. I've had a problem with a couple of my nucleuses where my uncle came down a week after I put them into the hive and they were still locked in. They were fine, but it was a week where they couldn't fly. So that's a good start, I think. So here's our first frame. Put that down the end so they can start thinking about drawing more comb. I'm going to compress the nest into the front of this hive. Here's our second frame. This one's got brood, eggs, larvae. And on the other side, same thing. I just have to clean a little bit of comb from between these frames. Because when you top bar beekeep, it's very important that these two frames stick together. Next one. This is another good looking frame. Good brew pattern. I'm keeping an eye out for the queen. Another good 
good brew pattern there. This is a newly mated queen. Now you can see there, the bottom of that is touching before the bar's on. So I'm just going to trim that. I bought me trusty Oppenel cheese knife. If you ever get a chance to buy one of these, do it. They've got a corkscrew on the end. Corkscrew on the end. They have a locking mechanism which locks the blade in place and they're really sharp. So that's off. That comb, you can feel it moving on the bars. So you just have to be really careful with top bars. I'll just trim this. And one more. So this one here is just a little bit of pollen. And on this side again, pollen. There's not a lot of stores in this hive. There's an old one, so it's starting to look like a top bar, isn't it? I'm actually going to put this bar here in between these two because if that stores, we want more brood. Actually, I might put it in between both of them. This is a little bit ugly. I'll work with it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake the rest of the bees into there. So I've got four frames like this. So I might take that other frame out. Move this along. Whoops. No queen. No queen. Good brood though. No queen, ugly comb, and last but not least, a little bit of nectar there. Okay. Now last of these bees, there aren't many, and the few bees on the base. So you can see here the issue, so what we need to do is smoke some of these bees down. I'm going to gently just move this board along. You're always going to squash a couple of bees. Not that I want to. So you can see those bees starting to march in there. I'm going to shake this board off close to there and then I'm going to bring them back again. Just give them a minute just to get their orientation. I'm going to move this one out. You can see the bees festooning in there and I'm going to put this one in between. Mm -hmm. The reason I have to spend a little bit of time 
making sure these bees are in the box is because the entrance is closed. And look at that, just like that. I'm gonna pop some insulation on the top of these guys and we'll put the lid on, clean up my mess, and we'll leave them to me. So there we have it, a little bit of insulation, 